assistance? A, 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 a ghost! Hey, mister, you, you forgot something! Arr! Wow! <laughs> what do you know? A baby ostrich! Arr! And your name is Ozzy. Hmm. 121 Chestnut Street. Oh. <laughs> Guess I'll have to deliver you myself. Just follow me, Ozzy. You shouldn't eat junk like that, Ozzy. You're liable to get indigestion. Turn this umbrella. Everything's okay now, Ozzy. Let's go. Now this will keep you out of trouble till I get you delivered. story of police patrol. All right, you guys, let them have it. In the car and after a men. <laughs> okay, Murphy, release the bloodhound. <laughs> Come in, come in. I have been waiting for you. Well, looks like Ozzy will be well taken care of. Taxidermist? Oh, poor, poor Ozzy. I'm too late. <laughs> I prepare you for stuffing. Stop! Don't you dare hurt my little friend. <laughs> well, Ozzy, that ought to keep you out of trouble. 
trouble? Surprise! It's the cat! Run for your life! <laughs> Rube, Z -Z -Z Zeke, Ezra, L -L 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 Luke, Abner, and 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 <laughs> Louis. <laughs> Gracias for the ride, amigo. Buenas noches. Saludos, amigos. That means hello, fellas, and Mexico, you know. It's only Cousin Hyman, back from his vacation in Mexico. Say, what's the matter, fellas? Aren't you glad to see me? Hyman, we haven't eaten in weeks. That cat up there is driving us crazy. Cat, huh? Well, I learned lots of tricks in Mexico about El Gato. That means cat, you know. Just leave the Cousin Hyman. Oh, great, Caballero. Uh-uh. Fiesta. Gee, thanks, Hyman. 
targets for our scare raids for the next few weeks are outlined on this map. Now, what is the most important thing in a scare raid? Surprise? Speed? No, the most important element is the weather. That's true. But who can tell us the weather weeks in advance? The weather prophet, the groundhog, you fools. Okay, we'll go ask him. No, I don't want this fouled up. Our fair weather friend, Casper, will do it. All right, I'll do it. Just so poor Mr. Groundhog isn't scared by any of you. Mr. Groundhog, Weather Bureau. Temporarily out of business. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Groundhog. How did you get in here? Don't you believe in signs? I'm sorry. I heard you crying, and I thought I might be of some help. Say, where is your shadow? Why, uh... Oh, don't bother to explain. I know just how badly you feel. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost, and ghosts don't have shadows. A ghost? But a friendly ghost, Mr. Groundhog. Well, then maybe you can help me. How can a groundhog tell the weather without his shadow? I guess he can't. Why? <laughs> oh, that I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Golly, this is terrible. Where did your shadow go? Who knows? I just woke up one day and it was gone. No notes, nothing. Gosh, Mr. Groundhog, I'm going to start looking for your shadow right now. Oh, thank you, Casper. I wonder why Mr. Groundhog's shadow would want to leave him. He's such a nice person. Gee, if I had a shadow, I'd never feel alone. Say, it's a ghost. <laughs> You're not alone now, old-timer. I hope you think a groundhog shadow is good enough for you. But you belong to Mr. Groundhog. I'll attach myself to whomever I may want to. Hi, teddy bear. Nice day, isn't it? It sure is, Casper. Hey, why didn't you scare that guy? Because it's not right. What? <gasps> Don't tell me I've attached myself to a namby-pamby. <laughs> Excitement is what I want, but not with a friendly ghost. Wait! Mr. Groundhog needs you. I'm getting out of here before I'm all light and no shadow. Casper, save me, save me. Wait, Mr. Hunter, we're chasing a shadow, not a rabbit. Yikes, ghosts and shadows. The woods are haunted. Do you think the groundhog will take me back, holes and all? I'm sure you'll patch them up together somehow. It's certainly taken Casper a long time to get the weather information. We should have gone ourselves. I never should have trusted him. He's too good. Then let's go. <laughs> Temporarily out of business? He's not even home. Gee, it's the ghosts. You better hide. Aha, uh -huh, so there you are. And just where is Mr. Groundhog? Uh, isn't he in his burrow? No! Where did you hide him? But I didn't! Don't you try to protect them. You can't fool us. Hold on. You've got this all wrong. It's a mud monster. The thickens with scare raids. Let's hide ourselves. Ha, oh, you scared them right out of a scare raid. You mean they were scared of me? Yes, they scare easily. Gosh, but they were mean. Come on, let's see about Mr. Groundhog. Do you see him, Casper? Not a sign anywhere. But why would he leave his burrow? He was under the weather when I saw him last. Let's go up and look around. Good idea. Say, come over here and check these footprints. It's him, all right. I feel it. A perfect fit. They lead right up to that high mountain. Hill of Danger. Gosh. Quick, you follow that trail. I'll fly up around the mountain. Oh, I may as well spend all my days here. I'll never see my shadow again. <laughs> Gosh, he could fall off, and it's all my fault. I'm back. I'm back. Whoops. Golly, he was scared right off the cliff by his own shadow. Mr. Groundhog, I've got you.
Oh, thank you, Casper, but I'm still all alone. I'm sure your shadow doesn't think so. My, my shadow? Yes, I'm sure it's not mine. Oh, I just know we're going to have fair weather now that my shadow is back. become a good frightened man if you can't even follow orders. But I don't want to learn how to fright. I just want to be friendly. You're busted! Now get off this post and stay off! Oh, boy! Now I'm free to go out and make friends. my sheep, and I don't know where to find them. My name is Casper. Maybe I could find your sheep. Oh, will you, Casper? Sure, Bo Peep, and I won't come back till I find them. Have you seen little Bo Peep sheep? Uh, g -g 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 Ghost! Rub a dub dub, three men in the top, and who do you think we be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, all throbbing our way out to sea. Have any of you gentlemen seen Bo Peep? A ghost! Scared when they see me. Sang a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty black birds baked in a pie. Hello, Mr. Pie Man. Have you seen Bo Peep's sheep? A ghost! <laughs> I'll have to tell Bo Peep I can't find her sheep after all. Bo Peep sheep! Oh boy! Lamps too! Yum yum! I must 
do something to save them. for a super colossal jungle picture, you know what I mean? Boy, oh boy, a jungle! Uncle Hyman, look out, you'll drown! <laughs> it's only a mirror. The movies use it for water effects. It's only a mechanical dummy. <laughs> Bye. 
I can be headed. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. Well, so long, catnip. <laughs> Why, catnip, old boy? You're a natural-born actor. With my direction and your talent, I could make you a star. Oh, boy! You think so? I've always wanted to be a movie star. Now, catnip, you are a pirate captain. We start the scene with you shouting orders to the crew. Okay. I got you, Mr. Director. Lights. Camera. Action! All right, you scurvy sea dogs! Swap the deck! Man the topsails! And now a terrible storm breaks loose! All hands on deck! Back down the hatches! Secure the rigging on the... On the... 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 I... One of those humans now. A human? Yay! We finally got one! I'm the carp on this beat, miss. You're under arrest. But, 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 I, I don't understand it. The Supreme Court is now in session and the trial is about to begin. The plaintiff is the fish, the defendant is the human. Officer Finn, bring the jury in. With a sardine jury all tried and true, an oily verdict we promise you. The first witness from Fish Land, Willie Weakfish, take the stand. While swimming on my way to school, down where the ocean is sandy, I nearly swallowed this fish hook, which I thought was peppermint candy. Oh, that's a fish story! Order in the court! Order in the court! Let there be no interfering! Mr. Sailfish, take the stand! Let's continue with this hearing! I was sailing nonchalantly, never dreaming of attack, when before you could say, oh, hula hand, I was mounted on a plaque. I didn't do it! I didn't! Oh! Quiet, quiet, let order prevail. Call in the next witness to unveil his tale. It 
was a cool December day, and I was below the ocean swirl when I was netted by a whaling tug and drained of my winter oil. Order in the court. Now let's examine the testimony of the Widow Salmon. My children and I were once happy, and life altogether was grand. But now I'm a poor, lonely widow. You see, Judge, my husband was canned. <laughs> Sardines of the jury, the evidence is crystal clear. Make haste in reaching your verdict. It's late and my supper time's near. We find the human guilty! The Fishland trial is over. It was just and fair. And now here is your sentence. A seat in the electric chair. The human has escaped. already. Be a good boy, Huey. And now, baby Huey, attention, please. 
arithmetic will be the first lesson we will tackle. The tackle? Oh boy, tackle! 15, 25, 14, 32, and 18. Tackle! <laughs> Promoted, Mr. Tudor? Name your stupid dumb cup, you must look at a brain in the head! Well, now the music lesson. Let me see you play fireman on the piano. Play fireman on the piano? Oh boy! Clang, clang, choo, choo, the go for the fire engine! Here comes you with a fireman! Clang, clang, choo, choo! Maybe be crazy. Well, now the next subject, it gives chemistry. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So watch closely. First, I spill the chemicals into two glazes. <laughs> oh, boy! Soda pop! And now, the experiment, we will test it. Yeah, I'll taste it. My name! Taste it! Not taste it! Mmm, that was delicious. <laughs> hey, Mr. Tudor, mix me another soda pop. Smart enough, but you saved my life. I give it to you a diploma. De goody goody! Gee, thanks, sir. I'm so proud. Hey, Ma! Where should I hide my diploma?
It's quiet in the enchanted forest today. <laughs> uh oh, someone's crying. Gosh, little tree, can I help you? Oh, nobody can help me. <laughs> bah! He's always crying because he's Willie the Weeping Willow. He's always complaining. Oh, you'd complain too. These big greedies won't give me any room for my roots, and I'm always in the shade. Tough. I'll never be a big tree. Couldn't you big fellows make a little room for his roots and let him have a little sunshine? What? We were here first. Well, it wouldn't hurt to be a little charitable. Don't tell us what to do, Scram. See, they're all mean. Oh, I'll never grow up. Golly, I wish I could help you, Weeping Willie. You could help me leave this terrible forest and find a nice sunny spot. I could? How? Find the magic potion of motion. What's that? Ha! <laughs> Imagine him answering the riddle. What riddle? The ogre under the mountain has a magic potion of motion that he will pour on anyone who can answer the riddle. What is the riddle? Nobody knows. We've never seen him. Oh, it's hopeless. Please don't cry, Weeping Willie. I'm going to find the magic potion of motion for you. Oh, I truly hope so. So do I. Golly, tumbleweeds. Oh, tumbleweeds, could you please tell me if you've ever heard of the potion of motion? So you've noticed that we can move. I'll say. Well, we met the old grunt of the mountain. And you answered his riddle? Well, not exactly. He spilt some of the potion on us to get rid of us because <laughs> we tasted so terrible. Oh. This is where he tasted me. Oh, my. Well, would you fellows mind telling me where I could find the ogre? You see, I have a friend who's a tree, and I'd like to get some of the potion for him. Oh, that's impossible. Hopeless. But why? The ogre loves to eat vegetables, but he's too lazy to raise them. So he offers tasty-looking plants a chance to answer the riddle. If they can, yep, they win the gift of motion. If not, into the chop suey. Would it be cheating to ask what the riddle is? Yes, that's OK. Because we can't remember it. Bye. So long. Hmm, maybe in my present form I don't look very tasty. But with a pull here and a push there. There. I only hope I look delicious. Now to find the ogre and see if I can answer that riddle. OK, tasty tidbits. Riddles, anyone? Ah, oh, it's the ogre. Ask me. Nah, you look like you taste like a tumbleweed. Blech. I'd like to try. Say, what a salad you would make. Now, here's the potion of motion, and here is my shopping basket. It's a difficult riddle, so please be sure you want to try it. Uh, I'm sure. Then listen carefully. It is there when you can't see it, and when you do, you flee it. It walks, it talks, it flies, it cries. It seems like everything in general, but it is an animal, vegetable, or mineral. What is it? Give up? Let me think. It's a widget. No help from the audience. Besides, you're wrong. Wait, it, it's coming to me. It's a ghost, like me! Yay! When you see it, boy, you flee it! The, po the potion! Oh, it spilled all over the grass. But I saved a few drops. Whee! We can move! Hooray! Free the animals! Now I have to hurry before this potion evaporates. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Weeping Willie, the potion of motion. Oh, hurry with it, Casper. Close your eyes. Well, uh, I feel kind of peculiar. I don't believe it. Where are we going, Casper? I know a place where you can have plenty of space. <laughs> Mr. Big Willow, may Little Willie plant himself on this bank? Why, sure. Welcome, neighbor. Drink deep now, Willie, and grow. 
Oh, I will, I will. Goodbye for now, Willie. I'll be visiting you again soon. I'll be waiting here, Casper. Bye. never got off the ground. Millions of dollars in taxes. Poof! Up in smoke. I tell you, something ought to be done. Well, Dad, I guess it'll be up to the youth of the nation to solve its problems. Er, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Specs. Mm, guess you're right. Hmm. From this abandoned warehouse will be the shell of our rocket. Lower away, men! <laughs> now, the problem of sending a rocket into space will be explained with its cosmographical map of the sky. The rocket will have to pass through the Milky Way, and if there are no bottlenecks, Proceed past the Big Dipper to the Dog Star, which is at the halfway mark. Our final destination is the moon. Oh, Professor. Yes, Jobs? Suppose our rocket misses the moon and winds up here. Then our secret timing device will speed up the rocket to land when the moon is here. Well, what happens if it goes to this side of the moon? The timing device will then slow it down to land when the moon is here. Hit that call, tweet a woe! You win, Specs! All set for the solid fuel test, Goop. Pour in the fuel. Where we going? How's the liquid fuel experiment going, Chubbs? All set for the test, Professor. Save the fuel! Men, we will now need a spaceman for our rocket. Will a volunteer please take one step forward? Very well, Goop. Who, me? Now, due to the lack of gravity on the moon, we will have to see how our spaceman reacts to weightlessness. Okay, Chubbs. <laughs> I'm a moon man! I'm a moon man! This centrifuge will test your ability to withstand the terrific pressure you will experience in space flight. Let it go! subject has blacked out. We will have to proceed with the pressure suit test. One pressure suit coming up, Professor. Oh boy, it's up to 40 pounds already. What's that racket? I can't bear to look. Geronimo! I wonder what those kids are up to now. Spy! Saboteur!
Ready for the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh boy! It's Queen out of sight! Gentlemen, our launching was a success. Specs, off to the woodshed! Oh well, back to the drawing board. My baby Hugh is such a sweet child, smart as can be, he's gentle and mild. He grew awfully fast, he's something to see, just two years of age and looks just like me. Dear, good morning, Ma. Good morning, Huey, darling. <laughs> Made to Huey. Tis fishing I'm going, and I'm going alone, do you hear? Alone! 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 Huey's going fishing! Huey's going fishing! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! A fish! Can I dig for worms too, huh, Papa? Yeah, please, Papa, let me dig for worms. All right. Go ahead and dig. Oh, thanks, Papa dear. Uh, I hope he digs his way to China. Lots of worms under here, Papa. Papa, baby you we want to fish. Baby you we want to fish. Please, Papa, let me fish. Let me fish. All right, son. You can fish. But go get your own fishing pole. All right, Papa. Papa! fish next to me. Be setting yourself over there. All right, Papa. <laughs> oh, I touched the fish. And it looks just like Papa. Yes, yeah, stupid numbskull. Not in the head, Papa. <laughs> You want to make me crazy? Come on, get in the boat. There's another spot we'll be trying to fish from. Oh, goody, goody, goody! I promised my papa I'd be a real good boy. A oh boy! A fish! Oh, I'll break every fat bone in your head and 
slap some sense into that thick skull of yours. Ah, uh, we might as well be getting home. There's no use trying to fish with the likes of you around. Papa, Papa, looky! I got a big fat flounder! <laughs> before I get through with her. for the dog show. Remove the collar, please. Rabies shots? How terribly chic! There! Hand me the friend stand from my bag, please. My! Just like a nurse! 
What goes on here? Aha! Stealing the million dollar diamond dog collar, eh? Well, no. I'm taking you down to the... Huh? Master wanted to spook at banquets. Gee, I hope there's a job for me. Pardon me, my name is Casper. Do you have a job for a friendly ghost? A friendly ghost? <laughs> a friendly ghost? <laughs> somewhere else. Come on, Paul Jump. Let's have that old cave ball. Hiya, fella. Can I pray with you? Huh? Can I? It's skunky. Fully. Scram. Go ahead. Beat it. Yeah. You squirted the fresh air. Gee, nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> Let's go, fellas. Play ball, batter up. Foul ball. Okay, I'll get the ball. Here's your ball, fellas. Can I play with you? Gee, nobody wants to be. 
be my friend. Life ain't worth living without a friend.
helped an old lady cross a busy street. Stupid! Don't you know what a gremlin is supposed to do? We're the gremlins. Powerful gremlins. We're the cause of all the trouble, every place. And the only time we're glad is when things are going bad for the silly creatures of the human race. Aha! We're the gremlins, devilish gremlins. We're a miserable and underhanded crew. We delight in dirty tricks, scare the people in a fix. There is nothing that's too mean for us to do. Aha! We can start a fight between you and your closest friend. We can make you slip and fall upon the ice. We have ways and means that you can never comprehend. We do everything that's bad and nothing nice. We're the gremlins, terrible gremlins. It's no use for you to run away and hide. Oh, it doesn't matter where, for you'll find when you get there. This is the most durable car on the market today. Why, we guarantee that it will last you a lifetime. Now take this door, for instance. It's as solid as... Whoop. <laughs> That's just a piece of junk. What a nifty job. Say, that car's real cool. Boy, what beautiful lines. That's just the car for me. How soon can I have it? Put me down for one. I'll have one, too. That Killjoy goodie spoiled our fun again. Yeah, he's got to go. Jonesy, ain't this petunia a beaut? It won first prize at the flower show. Took me five years to perfect it. It's real pretty, Fred. You'll sure have a green thumb, chum. I'll give you odds that this relationship ain't gonna last. Be my guest. Well, Fred, I better finish cutting my grass. <laughs> You clumsy fool! Well, let's see how you like it. That's all. That's the end of our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> And I was gonna play golf.
Junior, how many times must I tell you never to shoot those rockets off in the house? Them ships, they'll fill you up. Junior, will you stop that silly jibber-jabber and talk so that I can understand you? Gee, Ma, get with it. I was talking space talk. Well, I'm telling you in plain English, go outside if you want to shoot off rockets. Gee. Oh, that child with his spaceman toys is driving me to distraction. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! vacuum cleaner. No home is complete without this scientific work saver. Sorry, young man, but I'm busy with my housework and I haven't any time right now. Step aside, Sonny. And now, madam, if you'll just watch this marvelous demonstration, I'm sure that you'll want... Huh? <laughs> I'm in a hurry, the car won't start. What did I do now? Pull over. Let me see your license. License? Oh, yes, it must be in here someplace. Oh, here it is, officer. He's got some nerve wasting my valuable time. There just isn't any place to park. Help Smith, hub up! I could have sworn there wasn't a spot to park. Sorry, Whitey, this car is full. Full car, madam. Oh, we'll never get into one of these elevators. Junior, what are you doing? Junior, that's the end. You're through playing space fan. Good morning, madam. May I help you? I'd like to see a new game from my little boy. Mm, well, I'll see what we have. Now, here's something different. Baseball. How do you play that? Madam, I shall demonstrate. All right, Sonny, we're going to have a little game of catch. <laughs> Madam, look at the damage that little monster made. You're going to get a bill for this. This will teach you not to play with those face toys anymore. Now get in there and get to bed. Sometimes I think that child is out of this world.
friends here. Hello. Hello. Go to the bowling hole! 
I'll be right back. There you are, girls. is a square. Your chair, Miss Wendy. Oh, thank you, sir. Ah, crap, this romance, but good.
dirty tricks. But, but gee, Cass, I only wanted to play baseball with you. Honest, Wendy, it wasn't me. It was spooky all the time. Hey, Cass! Come on out and play ball with me! I'll play ball with you. Catch black crow and chop off cocoa. Stew in pot just like chow mein. Slowly eat. Now goodbye pain. Hmm. That feline's got a bad toothache. That's all I has to know. Boss, boss! I have to soul living soul what knows the secret formula for curing that toothache. And boss, if I dies. The secret dies with me. Secret? Uh, what secret? The secret of freezing the nerve, boss. Freezing the nerve? Hmm. That sounds logical. Now just stick your head into that freezing unit. Yeah? Yeah? And now we refrigerate it. <laughs> Small fry. Strut. By the pool room.
fell out. Hey, you ain't no dentist. <laughs> Here's a set of plates, boss. Uppers and lowers. <laughs> boss, what you need is a gold inlay. Toothless for your new set of ivories. J. Caesar Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. And I know you're aching all over to meet our great new star. So, <laughs> ache a little longer. First, listen to how I discovered him. One year ago, at Blockbuster, I called in my producers and said, I want you to go out and find me a great new star. Search the world, spend a fortune, but bring back a star. Star to Blockbuster Pictures. For expenses, I gave them my Diners Club card and said, get rolling. Well, they really started rolling. They rolled and rolled. And still they rolled. With very little luck. Meanwhile, Back at the studio. I knew you couldn't find a star. I just wanted to prove it. Now I'm going to show you how to find a star. For an old showman like me, it was duck soup. <laughs> Young lady, you're exactly what I've been looking for. Nice legs, lovely eyes. Now, let me hear your voice. <laughs> it's all right, officer. I'm J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Eventually, I was identified and released. Six hours later, I was across the ocean. <gasps> A Russian Rock Hudson. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, uh, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Zlazonik Hitna, Hollywood Big Shot, Sterne Vuska, Blockbuster Pictures. Not capitalistic spy. Felicia! Through the intervention of the American Embassy, I was identified and released. Two days later, I was back in Hollywood. Aha! Another Jimmy Cagney. I waited for him to come out. Uh, just a minute. Uh, I'm uh, J.C. Bandwagon, head of Blockbuster Pictures. Oh, yeah? You look like a stool pigeon. You're J.C.'s a bandwagon. The head of Blockbuster Pictures. 
Really? Oh, I would have taken you for a pickle salesman. Do you know why? It's that hat. Don't listen to those who tell you that clothes make all the difference in a man. I say that instead, what goes on your head affects you more than clothing can. Now what makes me so gay and debonair? Your socks, or your gloves, your long and silky hair? Why, it's none of those that makes the people stare. Why, of course, it's this, the topper that you wear. Think of all the famous men of history. <laughs> and I think that you will soon agree with me that their choice of hat is certainly the key to their well-developed personality. Think of Robin Hood, Napoleon, MacArthur, or of Zorro, Sherlock Holmes, or Davy Crockett. You can go on till tomorrow, every one of them, I do declare, <laughs> chose his hat with the greatest of care. Oh, when you're wearing the right kind of hat, <laughs> no one looks at your tie or cravat. <laughs> No one gives a hoot about your style of suit If you're wearing the right kind of hat <laughs> When you put on the right kind of hat well, No one cares if you're skinny or fat <laughs> Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be flat When you're wearing the right kind of hat Ooh, Just look what a hat can do Oh, thank heaven for Mimi and Louisa. Mr. Christian, you've made a fool out of me. What a kiss, this, this stroke. I got a million of them, I got a million of them. But, uh, but, uh, but however, but, uh, never have I, have you, have we, but, uh, but however. Let me tell you this, you can never miss And your pockets will never be flat When you're wearing the right kind of hat I grabbed him and held tight A great talent like this wasn't going to get away Now, a great star must have a great name Howard Irving Melvin Harry Cat! Are you kidding? That's my mother-in-law's name. A Clark Abel. A great name, but no. Louie. Seymour. Eddie. Wait. Uh, get me names unlimited. Uh, $50,000 before we start thinking. Yes, a minute. 
You're a mice, and I'm a cat, and I'm supposed to eat you. Get with it, Daddy-o. This is the beat generation. We don't take that chance. This cat's got to go. Yo! They can't horn swaggle me. Dig that crazy trap drum.
Gaspar is on trial because he always breaks our ghostly laws. He will not shriek or boo or scare. He wants to make friends everywhere. Here's evidence I wish to show and call Exhibit A. It happened April 25th at Streets, Main and Day. Someone scared by you. Case adjourned. I'm glad that I still have my friends. Hiya, Casper. Hello, Joe. Well, now, if it ain't me good friend Casper. Hello, Mr. Flanagan. Help! Somebody help! Uh, I'm slipping! Uh, I can't hold on much longer! Quick, Casper! Fly up there and help him! A fine friend you are. Beat it! Good morning, Mr. Gallucci. Casper! You just the one that can help me out. Yeah? Uh, would you please go through that window and open the door from the inside? No sooner said than done. <laughs> Why, you idiot! Look what you done to my window! I keep forgetting that I haven't got my ghostly powers anymore. Oh, Casper! Would you please fly up there and get my kitten out of the tree? Well, uh, you see, Mrs. Smith, I, I really can't. I'll have him down in a jiffy. <laughs> Look what you've done to my wash! Now I'll have to scrub them all over again. And after all my hard work, why, you think that you'd be more careful... Gosh, if I don't get my ghostly powers back again, I'm gonna lose all my friends. But the judge said I've got to scare someone. And I can't do that. Or can I? So you see, fellas, the scare campaign tonight ought to be a howling success. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
know what happened. You see, in order to get my ghostly powers back again, I just had to scare someone. Mr. Brown, it's a boy. A son? Gosh, nurse, do you think I could just hold him for a minute? Could I please? Of course. Benny, my boy. What? <laughs> It's amazing! Hmm, a remarkable case. I think it's caused by an infraction of the molecular carbonication. No, no, it is a conditionary tetamorous of the lower extrema della. Yow! Glandular oxidase have caused a pitubination. The tension of the dynafran is most confusing. Bring on the fluoroscope. Mr. and Mrs. Brown, you are the parents of a real bouncing baby boy. Go ahead, dear. Walk to Daddy. Come on, Benny. That's fine. Just a few more steps. <laughs> I've got just the thing to keep Benny from bouncing. These shoes should do the trick. Ah! Oh, you poor dear. <laughs> Say 
signals. Four, six, three, eight, hike! Do you use Pee Wee? Why, I always use Sharpie blades. Yes, sir. -y. They make my face feel so smooth when I'm out. You're out. Smooth. smooth. Did you hear that crowd booing? That's the sentiments of our once loyal fans. Something's gotta be done. Now, tomorrow's game means the pennant. And if we don't win it, it's back to the Bush Leagues for you. Back to the Bush Leagues. No help from anyone, not even my scout. Scout? Hey, scout! You call him, Chief? Where you been? Me scout him world's greatest ball player. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, where is he? Hey, room. You come meet him, chief of tribe. Chief, meet him, Rube Clodhopper. A horse? Well, howdy. <laughs> Get it out of here. Get it out of here. You throw him out, horse. You throw him out, pennant. You mean Dad Hayburner will help me win the pennant? Who help him, Paul Revere, save him country from redcoats? A horse. Who make him possible deliver mail cross country by Pony Express? A horse. Who help him, Newt Rockney, win heap many football game? The four horsemen. Now, who gonna help him, Redskins, win pennant? Uh, 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 a horse? <laughs> Come on, Chief. We rest them up for pennant game tomorrow. A horse. The sports riders will say I lost my marbles. Hey, Joe, you got them classy room for night? Sign here, please. OK, Rube. You sign them. No horses allowed. I told you nobody would accept a horse. Hey, Chief, me got a pitchy idea. Well, howdy! Oh, why did I ever get into this mess? Eh, I'm gonna hit the hay. Hit the hay? Gosh, I'm hungry. Room servals. Cyrus. Get that horse out of sight. Did anyone here order a bale of hay? Why, yes, sure. Uh, at that time, I always eat like a horse. <laughs> Fans, 
this is the last chance for the Redskins to stay in the pennant race. We use them horse now, Chief? Quiet! You want someone to hear you? Batter up! Get in there, slugger, and knock the cover off the ball. There goes a pop fly right into the first baseman's mitt, and it's one out. Now, Chief, no. No! And now it's two out. This is last chance, Chief, to win them game. All right, all right! Put them in! Okay, Rube, Chief say you win them game. A horse on a team? Yeah, it's really a horse. A horse? Horses ain't allowed to play baseball. Some ruling book, horses ain't allowed. Play ball? This is unbelievable, folks. It's down to the last out, and it's up to a horse to save the game. Too high. Steerer! Went. I knew it. I knew it. Too low. Strike two. <laughs> Back to the bush league. Run, run. For Pete's sake, run! Well, dog my britches. <laughs> if when I could run, I'd be in the Kentucky Derby. Next, Chief, next. Me got another great ball player, Buffalo. are up here, Nightmare. In that case, I'll join you, Casper. Yikes, a flying horse, just what I need. Greetings, friends. I'm Ali Boo Boo. Hi, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. I was just wondering if you'd like to sell your horse. But he's not my horse. Nobody owns Nightmare. You mean he's for free? Then I'll just take him. Oh, no, you won't. I like it here in the Enchanted Forest. Hmm, looks like I'll have to use some black magic. Oh, well, no hard feelings, friends. But before I go, please accept this as a token of my friendship. Gee, that was a very nice thing to do, Mr. Boo Boo. <laughs> Nightmare, you've been bewitched. <laughs> that magic apple he ate placed him in my power. Now I'll just take him back to my palace. Stop! You mustn't take what doesn't belong to you. Abba Dabba, zero hour. Cast to lose your ghostly power. I'll go see Wendy. Maybe she can help me. Wendy, a wicked magician named Ali Boo Boo has cast a spell on Nightmare and made off with him. Oh, how awful! And then he used his magic to take away my ghostly powers. Here, drink my magic brew. It will undo Ali Boo Boo's spell. Wow, it worked. I can fly again. Swell. Now, where can we find Nightmare? He's at Ali Boo Boo's palace, but I don't know where it is. Magic Mirror, please do tell. Where does Ali Boo Boo dwell? Wow, he lives in the clouds. Hold tight, Casper. Here we go. Hey, look. There's Ali Boo Boo and Nightmare. Find that pesty little ghost. He's got a witch to help him. I'll get the door open. It disappeared. Gosh, I can walk through walls, but you can't, Wendy. It's so dark in here, Casper, I can hardly see. Say, maybe this lamp will shed a little light on the subject. Let's see if this is where you light it. It's a genie. It must be a magic lamp. Yes, 
I was imprisoned in a lamp by Ali Boo Boo. I am your slave. I don't want a slave, but perhaps you can help us. Why, sure. Get us into the palace. Open sesame. Golly. Thank you, Mr. Genie. Think nothing of it. Think nothing of it. I'm free. I'm free. 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 Well, welcome to my palace. Ellie. Boo boo. You were expecting perhaps the good fairy of the north? But come. I know you are very tired. Let me show you your rooms. Dendy, you will sleep in the dungeon. And you won't need a room because. <laughs> that put an end to him. Now to get Wendy out of the dungeon. I knew you'd save me, Casper. Now let's try to find Nightmare. Abracadabra, I'm the boss. You are now a frightful horse. Stop doing that to Nightmare. Yeah, I thought I got rid of you. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll make another stab at it. You've made my palace dusty and I'm allergic to dust. I'll have to get out of here. Oh, Casper, he's going off with Nightmare again. I'll be right back, Wendy. Stop! Turn back, Nightmare. A ghost? Golly, he doesn't remember me. You saved my life, Casper. How can I repay you? Just undo your magic spell on Nightmare. Fair enough. Abba Dabba Franks and Lentil. Nightmare come back sweet and gentle. Got another apple? Gee, he's his same sweet self again. Well, I'm happy to say I'm through being evil. Could we go back to the Enchanted Forest now? Bye, Ellie Boo Boo. Goodbye, friends. Sorry to cause you so much trouble. It's never too much trouble to make another friend. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>